Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run the power troubleshooter on your Windows 11 computer. So this utility will automatically troubleshoot various Windows power plan issues, as well as detecting system settings that may affect your power usage, such as modifying timeout and sleep settings, screen savers, display settings, etc., as well as restoring them back to their original default factory settings. So basically this tool will optimize your wireless adapter for power saving. It'll turn off the screen saver and instead turn your computer to sleep mode. It will adjust the display brightness as well and it will also adjust your power plan. So pretty straightforward process and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the Windows Start button and you want to select Settings. You want to select System on the left side and then on the right side you want to go down and select Troubleshoot. Go ahead and select that. And then underneath options, go ahead and select other troubleshooters. And now you want to go and locate underneath other. You want to select power and then select run. And it should say if it made any changes, otherwise it should say that no changes were necessary. So close out of here. And that should hopefully be about it. Now, if you guys are actually looking to lower your power consumption, I will go through a couple of different ways on how to do that in today's tutorial. And we're going to jump into that as well. So if you're still sticking around, the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search magnifier icon down your taskbar and search for control panel. That should be the best match. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by to large icons, and then you want to go and select power options. Let's go ahead and select that button. And then underneath preferred plans, go ahead and select power saver. So please keep in mind that this will reduce your system performance a little bit in the name of increasing your power efficiency. So keep that in mind. It's the first thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else you can also do here is says choose when to turn off the display. Go ahead and select that. So turn off the display. The sooner you can make that, the better it will be because if you step away from your computer, if your screen is going for five or 10 minutes, that's gonna use a lot more power than just one minute. And the same would be true for sleep mode as well. So you'd wanna go ahead and set that to a lower time interval. So again, you don't have to do that, but I would recommend looking into that. So pretty straightforward on that front as well. And something else you can try here too, if you go back to the search menu and you just go type in adjust and one of the best matches should say adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. You can access this through the control panel as well. You want to select adjust for best performance and then select apply and OK. Please know your system will appear a little bit differently, but it should act more responsive though by doing that. So just keep that in mind. But pretty straightforward on that front, guys. Something else you can do too. Say your desktop wallpaper to just a black color, just a normal black image. So you can actually just change it by right clicking on your desktop wallpaper and selecting personalize. And once this loads up here, you want to go on the right side and select background. Go ahead and select that. And on the right side where it says personalize your background, click inside of here and select solid color. And I'd recommend just setting it to black. You can set it to a different dark color as well. Anything that's not bright white or yellow should probably be sufficient or should be better. Black is probably the best for you know power savings because think about how much energy black needs to actually display, which is very little, if any. So just keep that in mind. There's a reason for everything in this tutorial. So take that for what you wish. And that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.